Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to share my knowledge on how to write a statement of purpose uh, for the graduate application. Uh, SOP um, doesn't have a rigid format of some kind. You can express whatever you want. The main thing is to be honest with yourself and to be able to explain your skill sets and your motivation on why and why to why do you want to join a particular university and what does that university offer you uh, for you to do your graduate studies there so uh, the format that I have developed uh, um, this year while applying for the graduate schools in U United States uh, is in this way um, I place my name and my email ID on the right side of uh, the application. Um, then, the first paragraph I've always started with uh, my clear intention on what do I want to pursue for my graduate studies. Like um, I've been writing, like I want to pursue my graduate studies uh, in electrical engineering at the University of Das Das. Um, for example, so um, after this, I've, I've followed up with uh, the kind of specialization that I want to do uh, in this graduate program. Like um, in my case, that would be like signal processing, antenna, wireless communication, uh, etc. etc. So uh, when I move on to the second paragraph, um, I've always uh, placed in two research projects. Uh, within the EC department in my case because it's electrical engineering so if you're applying for a technical engineering subjects or computer then there will always be a lab of some kind so uh, after writing the department name always follow up with a, uh, with a uh, research lab that you are interested in and try to connect with uh, the current projects that are going there in that lab uh, after that, I have um, always uh, written certain research aspirations that I have um, that matches uh, or aligns my interests uh, in the research projects that are going there in this department, which makes it a better case for you to apply there. Um, in the third paragraph, uh, it's now about connection with the intention that you have shown in the first and second paragraph. So in the third paragraph, always connect your research aspiration with the uh, skill sets that you have learned in your undergraduate studies. Um, uh, it could be like some kind of tools you have used or the theories that you have learned. Um, that could be a, a large topic, but um, you need to put and select the um, required skill set that you need for this graduate program rather than other things that you have learned. So um, this paragraph is important as this is the connector between the paragraphs that are going to come below and the paragraphs that you have uh, already written above. So always end this paragraph uh, by telling what you get from this university, what kind of uh, research labs are going there uh, and how can you increase your knowledge and skill at this university and also the courses, uh, graduate courses that are offered there that will help you to achieve your goal in the long run. Um, then comes the fourth paragraph. Um, to be honest, I didn't have a relevant professional work experience. Um, if you have a relevant work experience, then it's an easy job to connect with um, the graduate studies research that you have already been working on professionally, which makes you a better case. But even if you don't have a relevant job experience, then it doesn't matter. The main thing is the university wants someone who could work and you could always put something like your time and resource managing skills that you have learned here, the new skills that you have learned in a short span of time, the achievements that you have um, achieved here in this 
uh, work um, and this is the thing uh, that the US uh, graduate school wants the person who could learn things who could uh, work and who could um, work professionally more than anything else so ending this paragraph uh, um, with something like the job experience and the internships that you get uh, would be better in this university for your skills development and the reason that you have chosen this university because because of the things that are being offered to you as a graduate student like internships and jobs like i mentioned before so um the main important paragraph uh, in the sop is the last paragraph which uh, you need to summarize with the academic knowledge that you have uh, professional works experience and other attributes that could be relevant for this graduate studies and make you a suitable candidate for this graduate studies at this university so um with this uh, you could explain why you want to go to this university and in addition you need to do one more thing like you need to explain about the long-term goals what this is what the uh, graduate schools in the united states uh, want their students to show because um, they want someone who have a general idea of what they want to become in the next five to ten years so you could uh, always take on the research aspiration that you have written in the second paragraph and uh, try to connect with the uh, job ex job companies and experiences that uh, you could get from that kind of research aspiration that you have mentioned in paragraph 2 uh, and uh, uh, it's important to um, also include something like entrepreneurship that you could um, do after the after the graduation here because the university's location is suitable for the kind of um, uh, innovative ecosystem that that provides you with the knowledge to work on the academic and professional skills that you learn in the graduate studies so uh, with this i'm ending this video i hope you like it um, please subscribe if you like my video uh, thank you